In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a random number generator. So when we touch this box, we randomly spawn an object. Okay, first thing we need to do is create a text object. Set the initial value to zero. Let's pop that over there to one side. Let's rename it. txt underscore rng for random number generator. Now we need to create an action. So in the <clears throat> now we need to create an action, an event. So we're going to say keyboard on key pressed spacebar. So when we press the spacebar, we're going to go, no, we're not. We're going to add a global variable called random number generator, initial value of zero. And then when we press the space bar, we're going to tell that global variable to set itself to a random number. And the way we do that is system set value of RNG. And there's two ways you can do this. We can do random and then pick a random number between one and 10. But what that's going to do is it's going to pick a random number with a decimal place and I'll show you what that does in a second. We also need to go uh, system every tick, so every frame of the game we need to set the text and we need that to display the RNG global variable. So every frame of the game we need that box to display whatever that number up there says. So let's see what that looks like. Space. So you can see it's generating a random number with a decimal place, which is what we don't want. So you can do it another way. So when we press space, instead of saying random, we can say choose. And then we type in a sequence of numbers that we want it to choose from. So zero to five. So now when we press spacebar, it's just gonna pick a number between zero and five at random, which is fine, but that doesn't do anything. What I wanna do now is create something to interact with. So I'm just gonna create a random 16 by 16 sprite, color it red. I'm going to pop it up here because I want to jump into it. I'm going to call it box, SPR underscore box. So now instead of space, choose random number, I'm going to say add an event. When the player collides with another object, the sprite box, that's when I want to generate the number. So I can delete that. Let's check that out. One, five, three, zero, two, two, three. So you can see every time I touch that, now we generate a random number. Now we need to spawn some pickups. So I'm gonna create a very quick sprite. I'm gonna set it to 16 by 16. And in this box, I'm gonna draw a square. Then I'm gonna add a frame. Add a frame two. I'm gonna draw a blue circle and I'm going to add a frame and then frame three I'm just going to draw a triangle and we're going to color that one green. Set the animation speed to zero because we don't want it to play and I can drag that off screen. This is going to be called SPR underscore item. <clears throat> now what I want to do is right click it and clone it Two more times. In the second one, which is now called item 2, I'm going to set the initial frame to 1 so it shows the circle. And then in the third one, I'm going to set it to 2, which then shows the triangle. So now we have three pickups. Now when we jump and touch this, we need to code in what's going to happen to these items here. So we're going to spawn them in. So on collision with the sprite box, we're going to pick a random number and then we're going to create a sub event. 
So after we've created that number, we're going to do a system check. So we're going to compare the RNG variable. If it's equal to zero, if it's equal to two, and if it's equal to one, sorry, and if it's equal to two, because we've only got three, oh, we've only got three pickups. You could go on four, five, whatever, but it doesn't really matter. It's just going to do nothing if it picks up the four and the five. So if it if it, if it randomly generates zero, we're then going to spawn in that item. So we're going to go add action, and we're going to go sprite box, and we're going to say spawn another object, and that object is going to be the sprite item. Layer zero, image point zero, because that's all we're working with. We've only got the one. And then we can drag out a copy and another copy. And then if we if we display one in the random generator, it's going to then spawn in the circle. And then if we do two, it's going to spawn in the triangle. Okay, that. Now you'll notice that when we touch the box, they just stay there. one on top of the other. So let's add some physics so they fall down, because that's always fun. So we're going to select these, we're going to add a behavior, and we're going to add physics. We need to also add it to the circle. Physics, and we need to add it to the square as well. Physics. Now, if you've got an object with physics, you need to have other objects with physics to interact with. So that means that the walls also need to have physics applied. So if we just, because they're all instance, instances of each other, if we add it to one, it's going to add it to all of them. However, we do need to go into them individually and check immovable because we don't want them to move. Immovable and immovable and then I can put the number back on top. So now they're removable. So now when we spawn them, they're gonna to fall to the ground. Right on top of each other. And eventually the tower will get too big and it will fall down. And that's how you create a random number generator to randomly spawn in pickups. If you found this video helpful, please consider leaving a like and subscribing, it really helps the channel. And if you've got any ideas for future easy game mechanic videos, leave a comment below.